Hi, I'm Nate Ball, the author of Alien in My Pocket, Blast Off, and The Science Unfair. In the second book, The Science Unfair, Zach, the protagonist, has to build something for his science fair project. He chooses the project an electromagnet, and with the help of his four inch tall alien friend named Amp, he builds quite an electromagnet. We're going to build our own electromagnet today using instructions that are both in the back of the book and at alieninmypocket.com. For this project, you will need some wire that has insulation around the outside, a bolt, a battery, some wire strippers, paper clips, and safety glasses. This is a project where you'll want to ask for help from an adult. Electromagnets are really cool. They grab onto metal stuff in just the same way that a refrigerator magnet will, but they work with electricity. It's really simple to make one. All we have to do is make electricity go around and around and around in a circle. If there's a metal core in the middle of the circle, it'll work even better. I'm gonna start with this wire that I got, and I'm gonna start wrapping. That looks pretty good. Use the wire cutters to cut the wire. You'll also need to remove the insulation from the ends of the wire. You can see the copper sticking out from inside of the plastic. I'm also gonna twist my wires together so that they don't come unwrapped. Now just like with any project, before we know how it works, we wanna start small. I'm gonna take a single C battery, it's gonna give me 1.5 volts, and connect it up to my wires. Okay. Part of that energy is going into creating what's called a magnetic field. That's what's grabbing onto those paper clips. The other part of it is going into heat. You might feel that heat at your fingertips where you're holding the wire against the battery. Now remember when I said that more wraps makes your electromagnet more powerful? I'm gonna add more wraps. Ready to go. I can see a difference already. Look at how many more paper clips I got. Another thing that'll add power to your electromagnet is putting more electricity through those wraps. One way we can do it is to add a second 1.5 volt battery or use a bigger one like a 9 volt battery. And off in three, two, one. Cool. Lots of different things affect how powerful an electromagnet can be. Do your own experiments to figure out what those differences are. For more experiments and tips and tricks, log on to alieninmypocket.com.